Well, last night I went prop to a very interesting comedy show with someone that you might actually remember, Isaac Butterfield. In case you haven't actually seen any of his content, he goes with quite touchy subjects, but at the same time he takes the fun out of it, and that's actually one of the best things about him. He goes head on, makes jokes about it, but then it goes for people that just completely misunderstands and just goes for boredom and sensitivity. Of course he doesn't care, but that's kind of the funny part of it. But of, of course after watching the show, it was quite nice. There was quite a few jokes, I got involved about three or four times I think, I can't actually remember, it's pretty hard to do so. But it was an awesome time, I even got to see the big man himself and I got myself a little photo with it, it was nice. And most of his stand-up routine involves some callbacks. I remember him saying in most of his videos. I'm actually surprised he didn't mention that time when he was in the airplane with a feminist who kept stealing his armrest with herself. <laughs> but I might. It's pretty funny to just listen to him and listen to everyone get involved. It, it, it almost felt like everyone was a part of the entire show, and I thought that was just amazing. But and then. There was that one part where he involves a joke, I'm not going to say it full on because I don't want YouTube to put another copy strike on me, I've been pretty good for the last six years. And he involves a joke that contains an autistic, autistic style, you know, just has a person who has autism and he makes a joke about that. But here's the key factor, I, any other person would just lose their shit, go up to Isaac or probably make a complaint or just make an online complaint about it. But then there's that one key factor that most people don't understand. It's a joke. It's not to be to be, meant to be taken seriously. It's a joke. That's what stand-up routines do. It's a, meant to be a joke. But for some odd reason, people don't seem to understand that little interesting detail. Now, if you're watching this, Isaac, I enjoyed the show. It was awesome to meet ya. And yeah, good luck with the rest of your tour, mate. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty much related to that joke in particular. Sometimes people can be a bit... Mm. And I mostly agree with what he says. I mean, politics and the, this country are stuffed. The, what I like to call 21st century feminists aren't really that helpful in this current situation in time. And religion just really needs to back off. <laughs> Except for Buddhism. Those guys are cool. They really know how to keep them contained and... <laughs> You know what though, if they, if feminists and Christians tried Buddhism for at least a week, I'm 100% guaranteeing that they might actually change their ways. Possibly. But, yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a ramble and not much to be said because, well, it was just an awesome experience and, yeah, it was also my first night out, so that was also pretty good. Got to listen and, well, I also had to listen to the dude next to me who really thought he could take Isaac on, the same dude who completely wrestle slammed a vegan, so I wouldn't really want to mess with him. He's taller than me. It's good to know that I actually feel shorter for once. <laughs> Being shorter for once. That's something I can barely say. Anyway, Isaac, like I said before, good luck with your tour. And I hope everyone has a good day.